What is up world? It is a Monday. We are in the vehicle. Uh, headed to uh, Kingsport, Tennessee. I have a uh, 8 a.m. appointment with a urologist to get two kidney stones removed. That should be exciting. Um, I know it needs done <clears throat> because uh, this morning was probably one of the most miserable mornings of my life. I won't get into the particular uh, details other than uh, these stones need to go now. Um, I know it needs done, but I'm not looking forward to it because it's just going to get it's going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, I'll check back with you uh, when we get down into uh, Kingsport. Maybe uh, film a couple of things. Uh, if we can't uh, figure out a motel room and something to eat uh, for dinner. Maybe uh, wander around the little downtown square for a while today, kind of make it like a, a mini vacation, sort of. Not really. I believe that was a policeman that was on the wrong side of the line in front of us that we just almost went head on with. Anyway, I will catch you guys down the road a little bit. This evening I got to uh, saying is where they're going to be functioning tomorrow I need to uh, get out the old clippers and, and tidy up the uh, as Jeremy Clarkson would call it I have to tidy up the gentleman sausage uh, area uh, God, I feel greasy all right it's got to go man I, I was throwing up this morning from this I couldn't keep fluids in me I couldn't keep pain medication in me I feel I feel 100% currently, but uh, when they start moving around, so we'll go get that handled tomorrow. Uh, here's an interesting tidbit that you may not know, uh, at least with uh, you know, this comfort suites. I think. Let me look. No oh, quality in. <clears throat> If you tell them you're in town for uh, medical reasons, they give you a uh, almost 50% discount. Uh, they wanted $138 a night for this room. And uh, just in passing, as in to chatting why we were in town, uh, they gave me a hospital stay rate. Um, it only ended up paying $77 instead of $138. So next time you go to a hotel, maybe tell them you're in town for medical reasons. We're currently sitting here, we're watching Full House. Uh, the wife just went to the vending machine. We got some uh, Wendy's for dinner. I got skin blemishes, I'm getting old. But uh, I'll check back with you in the morning. That's it for now. And don't tell the cool YouTubers do this. Well, it's the next day. And apparently today was just a consultation. But, uh, in addition to the uh, two kidney stones that I have bouncing around in my bladder, I have a uh, uh, even larger one still in my kidney. Fortunately, somebody canceled, but I have to drive back to Kingsport on Thursday for the actual procedure. drive not too excited about it but if somebody hadn't have canceled that I had to have literally waited till like the end of June to get this handled oh, sorry, snake. And the snake in the road yeah. Yeah, okay which means I'll probably be a snake to shoot in the creek when we get to the <laughs> house or two or four um, yeah so that's pretty much what this video is gonna be I'll check back uh, 
there's anything exciting going on at the house, I'll check back with you when I get there, other than some naggy goats that need to be fed, because it's 11.30 in the morning, but uh, I need to be fed too, so, anywho, we'll see uh, what the rest of this week uh, brings. Yeah, good times. So it's currently a uh, beautiful Wednesday morning, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm waiting on a phone call for the uh, time that I have to be in Kingsport tomorrow from the uh, surgery center. Um, not allowed to eat or drink anything after midnight tonight. So literally my agenda today is going to be to eat. You can see we got the grass cut. Last night she push mode. I ran the weed eater. Was uh, and My knee is junk today, which brings me to the next ailment that I'm... Uh, now that once this procedure is over, we are uh, going to meet our uh, our yearly deductible on our insurance. Once this procedure is over and I am uh, back uh, on my feet, per se, uh, get to uh, dial up an orthopedic surgeon and see about getting my right ACL fixed because uh, it just keeps getting progressively worse and worse and worse and I'm having a hard time even walking. I feel like I'm falling apart all at one time. Uh, that's another story for another day, but uh, I will keep you all in the loop there. Um, maybe this evening, once the uh, sun sets down a little bit, uh, and it's not on the front yard, I'll, uh, I'll go mow the front yard. I'm still, my leg is still swollen and not working very well from running the weed eater for an hour last night and having sat in the car all day yesterday. So we will see. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Well, it's Thursday. Here I am. See you on the other side of it. So, five and a half hours later, uh, I'm out of the hospital. We are in the car, headed home. Uh, apparently, the uh, kidney stones were uh, impacted which is what was causing the majority of the pain. They've got everything cleared out. Man, a good old stent in there that I get to pull my that I get to pull out myself. Um, in four days. Uh, whew. Currently, uh, 5.16 on Sunday morning. My uh, procedure was on Thursday afternoon. Um, I'm still in uh, excruciating pain. <clears throat> I've got uh, one day worth of uh, pain pills left, which is no good. They told me I could take one but not the other because the other was uh, worried about blood clots or something. Um, I still have to remove a straw from my junk uh, tomorrow on my own uh, with no pain pills. Um, it's really a shame that the people in this area have, have ruined it for, um, for those of us who legitimately need something. Uh, there's so many junkies around here that you can't get an adequate prescription because they just assume that when you go someplace you're uh, you're looking for pain meds. Um, and I won't lie, right now I am. Um, but there's literally nowhere that I could go to get any. Uh, the urology office doesn't open uh, until for another 27 hours. <laughs> um, 
you saw the result from the uh, local hospital. I'd have to be uh, overdosing on uh, something to get attention there. The uh, hospital that I went to in Kingsport is over two hours away, uh, depending on traffic. There's some construction going on there, and there's a piece of a one-lane road, and sometimes you got to sit for a half an hour. Anyway, <sighs> I'm still not doing very well. Pee and chunky blood. Whew. My whole body fucked up right now. So it's now about 8 o'clock, same day as that last clip. Um, we called the after hours number for uh, the uh, urologist. And uh, the guy wasn't particularly. For, yeah, that hummingbird's looking for the feeder. <clears throat> Had to wash the hummingbird feeder out. It started to mold. Uh, anyway, told me to go ahead and just take the stent out and start taking the tort all again. Um, to which I was told I wasn't supposed to because of blood clots or something. Um, so I just pulled like, Hello. how long do you think that thing was? Like a foot? Yes. A foot long stent uh, with probably 10 inches of string. So pretty close to uh, two feet worth of uh, substance out of the old gentleman sausage. Um, that's not a fit. It felt like I was pulling from the back of my nose. Um, so I got that handled. That's done and one step uh, closer to uh, being done with this shit, I hope. Uh, I, I don't have words for what that felt like. It was literally a, a, a straw from my kidney all the way out with a string on it. I guess it beats the last time that they had to go in and, and, and retrieve it because the uh, string got lost. But here's to uh, better days. I'll uh, try to catch up with you at some point this week and let you know uh, what, if anything, I'm doing other than uh, I'm sure that for the next couple of days I'm still going to be rather stationary on the couch because, uh, well, this shit hurts. Um, but I'm going to end this video here and um, catch up with you where I do. Anything insightful to say, dear? Not polite. All right. Peace out, fuckers. <laughs>